Hello everyone, this video is about adding new languages to your Zoom account. Normally, Zoom comes with nine default languages, but then in language interpretation, we need more. Thanks to the new functionality of Zoom, we can click and add, say, Italian. We can add multiple, for example, Turkish. Or we can add uh, Turkçe, the uh, Turkish form of Turkish. And then when I say add, they will be added. Well, is it okay to have uh, Turkish and Turkey on the same panel? Well, why not? Because as an admin, when you're planning your event, you just decide which one to be displayed. You can either uh, choose Turkish and everyone will see it, or you can choose Turkey and people will see that. Well, uh, same applies to Chinese, for example, although you cannot remove it. For example, I could remove one of this because I added these are my custom settings. But for Chinese, I found it on, on Google. It's Jungwen. And then I say add. And if I do this, uh, and if I create an event by using this icon in Mandarin, then the audience would see among their language settings Jungwen instead of Chinese. Well, that may be a convenient for people who don't really know a foreign language and saying their own alphabet may sound more um, familiar. You can do the same for Arabic. There you go from Wikipedia. I copy it and now I edit Arabic. I mean, I could also add Arabic like this. It, I mean, it doesn't change anything. Uh, well, uh, just try and experiment depending on the audience you can use anyone any any one of them you want uh, just a few more remarks uh, you can also enable as I did the closed captioning closed captioning uh, is a nice functionality you assign someone during the meeting a live reporter a transcriptionist and this person can type in what people are talking about. There are that fast people uh, on the world. Although, I mean, they may miss some of the things, but usually they are better than uh, the automated versions. Uh, speaking of automated versions, Zoom has automated transcriptioning and it is by third parties. When you enable them, uh, it will be live on your meeting and un under, under uh, the Zoom panel on the bottom, you will see show subtitles as a menu and then audience will start seeing uh, automated or human uh, produced subtitles. Um, this, however, can only be uh, performed in one language. So you have to choose to give subtitles in English or in another language. It, it won't work in multiple languages with the current setup of Zoom. As a kind rem reminder, I must say, please make sure that all of your attendees have downloaded Zoom on their computer. If they don't have Zoom app on their computer or on their phones that they connect to the meeting, they cannot access the interpretation. Interpretation icon will not show. A second reminder, make sure to update your Zoom on your desktop. There is an app like this. You log in and then you go to the right top corner and say check for updates mine is updated make sure your zoom is always updated too thank you very much folks see you on my next video